What's up everyone? Big Brother records are being broken, production has roasted Kyle over his 10 second incident and Monty has had some very very interesting dreams. We've got so so much to talk about so welcome to your live feed update. Alright gang, now right before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live on the channel. That's three buttons. Subscribe, like, bell, smash them. Question of the day now folks, let me know um, who your favourite house guest is left in the game. There's seven to pick from, let's see if I can get them off the top of my head. Um, they are probably not going to be one of the favourites if I don't remember them. So, so there is Taylor, there's Terence, there's Alyssa, there's Brittany, there is Michael, and there is Turner, and there is Monty. Got all seven. Boom, well done Tom, pat on the back. Let me know who your favourite is in the comment section below. All right, folks, let's jump right into the power of veto results. Now, get this, folks. The winner of the power of veto, and it was BB Comics, we'll get onto that shortly, but the winner of the power of veto was Michael. He has just broken the all-time record for most veto wins in one season. He's beaten out Paul. He's beaten out Casey. He's beaten out Danny. And he's beaten out Janelle. On top of that, he has now tied the all-time record for most comp wins in a season. Just comp wins with Janelle. So all he has to do now is win one more comp. Then he's became the biggest comp beast of all time. I mean, you could argue that he is already having broke the veto record. But if he takes it from Janelle as well on the just comp wins overall, then wow. A massive congratulations to Michael for that. And of course he is head of household as well, so unless he is planning something a little bit schemy, then I would imagine he's going to keep the nominations the same. If they are changed, it would most likely be a situation in which somebody's brought down for Turner to go up on the block and then Turner voted out, but I don't think that is going to be the case. So ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of you will be very, very happy to hear that by the end of the week, Jura number five will most li likely be Terence. DJ Showtime will become DJ No Time. Okay, now uh, for a weird ass segment, uh, it's now for some, to put it in the most PG way possible, Dirty Dreams from Monty. Uh, he has expressed to Taylor that he's been having sex dreams in the house, apparently. Um, again, I've just been reading what a lot of people have been saying on Twitter about this. I haven't seen the clip of it, but I would say enough people have been talking about it to... Uh, to clarify, it happened. Um, I'm not going to go into the specifics of it, of course, because I haven't, I don't know the specifics, but basically it sounds like Monty's been telling Taylor that she was in these dreams as well. Like, <sighs> I don't know, it's just, it's the kind of thing you'd probably keep to yourself, right, if it happened. And then apparently Taylor made some kind of comment about speaking to the therapist, like the big brother therapist, about it. I can't even believe I'm doing this segment right now. I've done it all this season, folks. I really have. I've done, I've done condom segments. I've done sex segments. And now we're on flipping wet dream segments. I'm not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> Okay, now something very interesting to note that we talked about yesterday was how Terence was kind of passively, aggressively threatening Michael that to, that he was going to poison the jury against him, you know, over the fact um, about him being on the block. I think Terence has kind of just became annoyed and pissed off, really, at the fact he's been put on the block by Michael and he's not stomaching it very well at all. So as a result, he's taken it out on the people around him. We saw Taylor yesterday and even, like we said, Michael basically potentially going to be poisoning the jury but anyway to counteract that Michael has thought he's an idea and he kind of um he told this to Brittany that he is going to in the veto speech talk about that about Terence's plan to poison the jury so then the jury sees that when they all sit down on the couch and go let's watch what happened so I don't know I like that that's gameplay that is gameplay that is you know um not often quite seen you know the uh the idea of utilizing goodbye messages and utilizing 
the clips that they are going to see in the jury house are not strategies that are seen very often. Like, yeah, we see it incorporated every so often. Josh did it quite well with his goodbye messages in 19. Um, so seeing somebody go, I'm going, I'm going to use this. This is a chance for basically me to be able to talk to the jury without talking to them directly, if that makes sense. And I like that a lot. I respect that Michael's doing that. So anyway, yeah, expect that to happen at the veto ceremony. He's going to talk about um, Terence basically wanting to poison the jury against him because then the jury will be aware of that when Terence goes into the jury. Thus, they are less likely to believe anything bad Terence says about Michael. Very, very smart if you ask me. All right, prepare yourself for this one, folks, because Big Brother's production has gone to town on the comics this year for the BB Comics comp, and it sounds like they absolutely roasted Kyle to ashes with the title they gave him on the comics. Jesus, this is every single day, these updates are becoming more sexual, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Take a seat, prepare for this one, because it sounds like Kyle's BB comic title was something along the lines of E Reptile Dysfunction. That, that is harsher than some of the things I've seen on Twitter. Big Brother Production were not messing around with that one. So yes, it sounds like it was either like A Reptile Dysfunction or E Reptile. I would imagine E because that would make more sense. Um... I'm excited for... Wednesday night to see the reaction to that because I think quite a lot of the house guests will laugh and even hours after that about it um, That's what you get for wanting to born someone on national TV God. I really can't have much sympathy. I can't I mean like me Yeah, I get it's like a it's a touchy subject, but like that's what happens when you get your schlong out on national TV and then go to town on someone for 10 seconds on, <laughs> on a pool floaty in the have-not room on Big Brother with 24-7 live feeds. That's what happens. That's what you get. I'm <laughs> a reptile dysfunction. Oh, boy, I'm definitely not getting paid enough for this segment, but here we go. Um... Taylor, Terence and Monty were in the bedroom together and Taylor tells the guys that Brittany said to her that Brittany woke up to Kyle doing some vigorous itching in the night. Some solo vigorous itching is what Taylor phrased it as. Take that with what you will. Um, <laughs> See, I know it. I know y'all like it when I find myself speechless and I don't do it on purpose. But y'all are getting your money's worth today because I am... Speechless. Solo, vigorous, itching. Monty sex dreams. A reptile dysfunction. 
Is this turning into another kind of site right now? This isn't YouTube anymore, folks. The OnlyFans is coming soon. It's not. Don't get your hopes up. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. Please let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. And boy, oh boy, it's probably going to be an interesting uh, set of comments down there today. But I hope everybody has had a fantastic weekend and is enjoying their Sunday. I just want to give a massive thank you to everybody for your continued support on the channel. It means the absolute world to me. I'll be going live tonight before the show, um, as I always do before an episode. So please come join me. Bring along a drink, bring along some snacks. Just bring along yourself for a good time, folks. And I'll hope to see you there before we get to see Zingbot tonight, which I'm kind of excited for. I mean, from what they said the other day with the Zings, I mean, it sounds like maybe it's a little bit... Not up to par as usual, but hey, it might be fun when we actually see their reactions in person. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very much looking forward to it. Listen, it's Big Brother Night, so I'm naturally excited. But please join me before for the live stream. But again, thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. Um, it's been a it's been a wild season of ups and downs, and we've still got a while to go still. But just um, I, I did want to take a moment, actually, just to say thank you to everybody for actually giving me the most successful year on the channel so far, which is... Crazy to me. I can't even believe that. Um, just sending kisses, sending hearts, sending hugs, sending lots and lots of affection to all of you. Thank you ever so much. But folks, I hope that everybody's staying safe, staying positive and staying healthy out there. And remember to be kind to one another. But in the meantime, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.